Hey everyone, today, 2024 Christmas DIYs. And by the way, if you're new here, I'm Tanya. And if you're returning, welcome back. And I do hope that you all like, share, and subscribe. Now for our first DIY, I'm gonna take one of the chargers from Dollar Tree and just some strips of cardboard. And what I'm gonna be doing is creating a frosty hat. Now we're just gonna lightly glue these on that inside circle. And that is just to get them in place. And then we're gonna be taking some duct tape and duct taping these down because we're gonna use the cardboard and some duct tape and some tissue paper to form this hat. And everyone, I have used this technique to create all kinds of different hats for Halloween, actually some masks that my daughter and I make when they're doing the parties. And this is just a really simple way to create a hat. Now you can see once I got that glued down in duct tape, I'm just making a simple circle and it doesn't have to be fancy on this part. It just has to be held in place. Once you do that, you'll take and duct tape all around the outside edges. And you can see I'm just taping this down really good because I want it to be sturdy. Once it's completely covered, you pour some glue on a plate and then we're gonna just brush this completely with some, I just have a jug of Elmer's glue, but you can use any kind that you like. And you wanna make sure you have a good coating of the glue on here because you wanna be able to layer several little layers of tissue paper. And I love using the tissue paper for this because once you paint this, it really gives that kind of crinkly aged look and it makes the perfect hat for a frosty hat. Now you can see once I had it covered well, I just took some black chalk paint and I just got everything painted really well. Then I took some antique Waverly wax and covered that up with dabs and let it dry. Now I'm gonna be creating just a little snowman nose. I decided to cover my carrot in some of this fabric and add some different greenery. And I was going for more of a primitive look, but you could definitely leave it orange. I trimmed everything up really nice and then I took some rusty beads that I had and bells and just added them there as a little embellishment. And once I get that done, I'm gonna take a little wood piece and a little handle to a paintbrush that I had and make something that looks like a pipe. Painted it with a little bit of that black and antique wax. And then I added just a little bit of like a white color to the top and kind of smushed that in there just to make it look like maybe ashes on the top. But everyone, once you get all these little parts in here, it really did look cute. And look how adorable that hat turned out. Now I decided just to take a piece of the muslin fabric, put it right there on the front, and I end up just snapping a little snowflake right on the front of there. And that looked really cute. And I'm really just gonna add a few more embellishments to this. I add just a little bit of greenery and just a few berries, but you imagine you could do all kinds of things with this design. But here is mine, and I think it made the cutest little prim design. So you'll have to let me know if you like this one and if you're gonna give this one a try. Now for our next design, we've gotta create a doll. So we're gonna create a little snowman doll. Once again, a very simple pattern, and I just stitched that up with some upholstery thread. And I love using that, everyone. It really does hold really well. And like I said, this is a really simple design. I do have the patterns for you. I've just gotta get a place to put those. And I'm gonna stuff this with just some more of that pillow stuffing, and then just lightly stitch up the bottom. And I'm kind of making this one more like a shell sitter took some more of my homespun fabric you could use any kind of ribbon for this I am getting into my rusty bells and pins because I had a stash of those from where I created primitive dolls before and then I had these little old rusty nails and you could just paint the nails also with just a little bit of brown and black paint and get a similar look but I kind of like to do my little nose off to the side and I went up through the back part there where I could hide it where I started and I pulled it through and up to the front and I'm just going to stitch on some really simple eyes and I do a little eyebrow and then a little mouth and I'll leave some videos linked below where I have a close-up of how I do the faces so you can see that but you could also glue some buttons on for the eyes and you could just draw the mouth on, several ideas that you can do. Now I just took some felt fabric, did two layers, stitched them together, 
together, turned them right side out. And I really just did that because I wanted it to have a little bit of bulk to it. And just glued that right on the top of this little snowman's head. And I don't worry about that hole because you're always going to use that just to glue down on top of the head. And I decided I wanted my hat to kind of bend down a little bit, so I just glued the sides. Now, once again, some upholstery thread, stitching up the sides of the hat. Now, I decided to just leave the top of this hat open and I do that sometimes when I want to make it look like there's snow in the top of it so that's another tip if you just want to leave it open and have like a little bit of snow like it's on top of it once again cutting the hat at the bottom in little slits to make them stand out and then that's what I'll be using to glue the hat on top and this works so good I use this on a lot of my dolls and like I said don't forget to check out some of the ones I've got in the description box for fall there's several of them now once I get the hat on here and you can see I needed to stuff a little bit more of the uh, stuffing in there so it would pop out the top of the hat now I'm just going to add another little prim ribbon around the top and that's actually fabric it's not ribbon but you can find that homespun fabric everyone walmart carries it and uh, hobby lobby has a really nice variety of it but look how cute this little guy's turning out once again i'm adding some of those rusty pins and i have this little heart that says handmade with love and then i'm taking some of that wired rope and i'm using that for the arms on this one this time cut out some little felt gloves two pieces so you could glue one on the bottom and glue over it on the top and i wanted to use this uh, wired rope so i could kind of bend the arms because i wanted this little guy kind of carry in some little decorations because he's getting ready for the holiday season and I picked up these little pieces at uh, Hobby Lobby. They were in the little small Christmas tree where they've got the little miniatures. And that's a really good place to find items for your dolls is go to that little miniature section. And you can see I've added some bows and a little lantern and just a little bit of greenery and a grapevine wreath. And you can just add so many different fun little accent pieces to this little guy but everyone, here he is setting up what an adorable little shelf sitter he made. And I hope you enjoy this one. He's one of my favorites, and I'll definitely be creating some more of these snowman dolls for you. Now for the next design, everyone, I just wanted to create a really kind of natural a centerpiece to have on my table. So I took this little piece that I picked up at Dollar, I think it was at Big Lots actually, and I decided just to dab it with some black paint and some of that, uh, I think it's called Black Flash. It's just an acrylic. I use it on my bells a lot. And once I got that done, I just pulled out all this greenery that I cut off of all kinds of different things that I had in my craft stash. And that's a definite thing to do, everyone. Just take greenery off of your wreaths and just cut it down to small sizes like this. But you can see there's really no rhyme or reason to this. You just start building up all kinds of different layers of greenery. And I think sometimes this makes the prettiest little centerpieces. And you really can't go wrong on this. Just start pulling out all of your little pieces and compiling them together and I think it makes a beautiful arrangement and of course I add lights to mine I think there's nothing prettier than seeing this all lit up at night on your end table or your dining room table or just somewhere in your kitchen just that nice cozy light shining with all of this lovely greenery I added a few pine cones to this, and then I decided I wanted to add just a little primitive touch to this. So I end up just putting a little primitive bow on top. And then we're gonna take, and we're gonna stuff the bottom here with just some more pillow stuffing, that's all that is. Just to make it look like the greenery is setting on a bed of snow. 
And once I get this little prim bow on top, I go ahead and put the lights on and then that is when I decide that I want to make some really cute little primitive uh, candy canes just to pop down in there. And everyone, I just used that rope twine that had the wire in it and just wrapped it in the primitive fabric in little strips. And it just made just a very subtle accent piece, but it was just that little something to toss in there. And I just glued those together and then just tied a simple little rope bowl on these. And that pretty much finished that off. And then I just kind of popped it gently down inside there. And it made such an adorable design. But everyone, here this is displayed. And I thought it turned out absolutely beautiful. Let me know if you had a favorite today. And this is all I have for you today. So I do hope that you enjoyed them. And if you did, I do hope that you all like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back in a couple days with some new videos. See you soon.